Major Mohammed Ali Shah is with us on the uh, broadcast. Uh, we talk about this on a, on a regular basis now, it seems, Major Shah, as far as Pakistan is concerned. Now we are learning that they've, uh, they've put in place a number of austerity measures. These include slashing the funding of the RSI. Pakistani army saying they're not being able to feed their soldiers. It includes slashing down the number of foreign offices, foreign missions they have. Uh, your views on this? Absolutely, Gauri, Gauri. I think it is very, very uh, shameful, actually, for any nation, for that matter, to cut down on their, not just defense budget, their security budgets to look after the safety security of the country. But this was expected. I had analyzed this much earlier that, you know, this the way the way Pakistan is going right now, the way they go this way, even their three-star general will have to come to work in their own cars. They will have to slash their budgets completely. Now, when they say the ISF should curtail their trips abroad and curtail their trips and try to compromise and try to uh, cut corners there. I think it speaks very, very poorly of any nation for that matter when they have their, like we have a raw, for example, like the other countries have like like Gestapo or they have uh, other other agencies where, but again, one more thing I will, uh, I will uh, hold responsible the ISI is a secret agency. They're supposed to do their work quietly. General Faiz Hamid, who was the ISS chief when the Taliban was, when the Taliban was taking uh, charge of Afghanistan on 15th August uh, 2021, that time General Faiz Hamid made much halabo and went with a lot of hype to Afghanistan to secure seats in their uh, cabinet for Hakai Network, a terrorist organization. So Pakistan has to cut corners now. They have no other means, and they have already burnt out. They burned their fingers. They haven't reached. They have, they've taken. 22 times they have taken loan from IMF. IMF has always helped them out. out. They joined IMF in 1950. After they attained independence, I mean, after they formed a separate country, two nations, Gauri, they were, they took, they started journey at the same time. 14th August 1947 and 15th August 1947. In 1950, Pakistan joined IMF. 1958, they went to, pass to IMF for the first time. And IMS was very kind, kind enough to give them a loan of $25 million that time. In 1965, they lost a war against us. They were totally war torn and battered. Once again, IMF helped them out. In 1971, war, where the liberation of Bangladesh, they were broken into parts. My father too participated in that war. They again were battered, so IMF again helped them out. So like that, 22 times, it, they became a president. But defaulting on the loan, and then for the last six months, they've imported vehicles, imported vehicles and electronic vehicles of $1.2 million. So what are they doing? They are being they are being frugal where it's not required. They are wasting money and the divide in Pakistan or the rich and poor is a lot. Unlike in India, for everyone to understand, there is a middle, middle class over here. The people, they are upper class, middle class, and then they are people below the poverty line. Pakistan, either you are very rich or you are extremely poor. Now the divide is only increasing and the people with the, the rich people who are buying imported cars and the poor people do not even have bread to eat. So as uh, the Elizabeth had once said, if they don't have bread, give them cake. That is a stage situation where Pakistan has come to where they have to. It's very sad to see that they have to cut corners on their ISI, which is supposed to be the strongest part of Pakistan boring. All right. So